guys, finally official. I am starting my own YouTube. YouTube for the Caribbean people. Um, I've really been battling with what I want to do. Do I want to do a podcast? Do I want to do a carnival vlog? Do I want to do a makeup, you know, tutorials? But I am not someone that can be easily boxed. I do everything. You give me something to do, I'll figure out a way to make it pop in. And so I don't want to be confined to just makeup tutorials or foodie blogs or, you know, carnival parties or car anything. Like, I just feel like I can do it all. And so I finally decided to just do it. And here I am. My name is Janae. For those of you who don't know me, um, I love food. I love to go out. I love to do new things. I live in the Sunshine State down here in Miami, and so pretty much through the last couple of years, I would say the last two years, it's been very, uh, very high paced in my life. I got engaged in Trinidad Carnival on the Savannah stage, so that was pretty epic. That was an awesome surprise, and here's the video for those of you who haven't seen it. Apparently, we went viral. Anybody want to pay for the wedding, you know, hit me up, let me know. Um, but this is the video, um, and enjoy. by my fiance he was really annoying me I'll give you a little bit of background that day he was so annoying just like very you know into his head just not feeling I'm like this is carnival Tuesday we've been cutting diets working out doing all of these things to enjoy this moment and here you are just being like super blah and super distracted and I was really really annoyed I'm a Virgo so I want things to go as planned I got up did my makeup at four o'clock in the morning we're gonna enjoy this road so when I finally realized, in retrospect, I was like, dang, like, I get it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry for being, like, cutthroat with you. I get it, and I appreciate you. Um, and so after that, we came home, and, you know, we just were embraced with a lot of love. And um, a couple months after that, surprise, there's a baby in here. And so um, now I'm a mom. And um, we're still, you know, we're still in the middle of trying to figure out where we want to get married, when, the date, and all of that. So I'm pretty sure you'll see that journey, little bits and pieces. Um, we have a 15-month-old daughter, and she's amazing. She's beautiful. Um, so now I'm a mom, and my life has been altered into catering into this beautiful little human being, but also really trying to find my place in this world. Like, I'm a mom, but I am still my old self, and some of you are moms and I'm pretty sure you understand trying to figure yourself out, trying to figure out how can I continue my old life while still being on this new journey as a mom. So I still love to go out, I still love to do everything that I used to do, but it's just like, well, I have a babysitter, do I have a babysitter? Okay, well no dad, you have to stay home tonight so that I can go out and party. Um, and speaking of mom life, Mother's Day just passed. This is my second Mother's Day. And fortunately, when I was pregnant, a lot of my other friends had just had their firstborns. Uh, we basically were all pregnant around the same time at some point or the other. So I have a really, 
really close knit group of friends and we we're all pregnant and we we're all new moms at the same time. So this year for our second Mother's Day, now that we've kind of smoothed out the, you know, the rough parts of the first year of motherhood, I decided to just get us all together the Friday night before Mother's Day and we decided to have a girls night out. Like, why not? We're moms, but we still like to go out and have fun. Um, sometimes you need to, you know, just get out and, you know, just be with your mom friends and just kind of just talk about everything that you go through at a mom that maybe some other women might not understand. Not, it's not to exclude anyone, but it's just really to just bring us together so that we continue to be a support system for each other. In this day and age, it's super easy to just kind of lose track of yourself, lose track of your friends, and, and it's not really healthy. You need, you need that support system as a new mom, and what a better way for all of us who are new moms together to go out and have fun. So um, this is what I've been up to, you know, this last week. I um, We went out to a new spot in Fort Lauderdale called Barita. Um, super cool, lots of lights and glow in the dark and graphics and things like that. And we, we had we had a good time. I knocked out super hard when I got home though. The, the struggle is real, the mom life struggle is real. <laughs> You know, I am just starting this thing. I have no idea what this journey will bring. I'm super, super excited. Um, I'm a very eclectic person as far as what I like to do. Um, I'm very organized, but I'm very eclectic in just everything. I'm, I'm open to everything. So I hope that you'll continue on this journey with me. There's going to be so much more fun content. There's always something to do. There's always something to look forward to. And for now, I'm going to say peace out.